I've always been a fan of these little photon lights. They're great for a keychain or a little mini survival kit. I like this quick release mechanism they use. Uh, I use that same mechanism on my Mac knife. Both locks it from deployment because when there's a, a device going through that hole, it cannot deploy. And it's also how I connect it to my keychain. So you get one of those with the photons. And I noticed there was a clear photon I had never seen before in person. I uh, went online to try and find some place to buy it. I discovered Battery Junction sells this model for very little. $5.75, I believe. The shipping, however, is kind of high considering the low price. But they'll ship you up to four of them for the same shipping price of, I think it was like three or four bucks. And if you buy $50 worth, which would mean nine of them, shipping is free. Anyway, so I bought a couple of them under that one shipping charge. It's called an X-Lite, made by LRI, Laugh. Laughing Rabbit Incorporated, five safety modes, meaning flashing modes, 4.5 lumens, 12 hour runtime, replaceable batteries, brightness control, 7.8 grams, made in the USA, lifetime warranty. But I thought a cool mod, which will probably void the warranty, uh, is to change it into a glow fob. As is, this surface here is glow-in-the-dark material, but it is not very good at all. And it has no glow-in-the-dark functionality at all on the bottom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into a knockout, high-quality, photoluminescent, passive glow fob. So you can make this little X-Lite from Photon uh, even more glow-in-the-dark. Uh, what you do is you open it up, you pop out this inter inner section, be very gentle. So there's the inner element that I have popped out. And what we're going to do is add extra glow-in-the-dark material. I've cut this little uh, shape that goes where the button is. This makes the button side extra glow-in-the-dark. And I've cut this little section uh, to make the flat bottom section even more glow in the dark. I'll be sure you put it in the right way, which is like this. Reinsert the engine, the actual optical assembly that makes it work. It's hard to get these just right. We snap it into position. We now insert our batteries. This takes two CR2126 lithium batteries. It's best not to get finger oil on these batteries if you can avoid it, because uh, that detracts from their conductivity. Sometimes you just have to grab them though. Stick it inside. So I have extra glow-in-the-dark material on this side. I have extra glow-in-the-dark material now on this side. Now we snap it all together. Double check that it works. It does. So the whole point of carrying a glow fob on your keys is so if you drop your keys at night in the dark, you can find them thanks to the glow. Uh, here's the modified X-Lite on my keychain, and here's a stock X-Lite without the enhancement. They charge during the day from sunlight, uh, or you can give them a quick boost by uh, zapping them with a flashlight. Let's see the difference when I turn off the room lights from uh, exposing these two to the light. It is a night and day difference. Let's also show you the difference on the back side. X-Lite has no glow function on the back side, the stock version. My enhanced version is actually brightest on the back side. Yow, that is bright. So here's a simulation of it turning night as I move my flashlight away from the scene bit by bit. And 
back again. Just doing a down and dirty version for the video. I would do a cleaner, fancier version for the final version. So now it's ostensibly watertight. Uh, let's see, for instance, if it'll float. Let's turn on our emergency distress beacon. And if you weigh these properly so that they're not too heavy, uh, they will float in water. And hopefully I've made this one so that the uh, it'll be buoyant in this direction. Let's take our body of water and just casually throw it in. Well, I was sort of hoping it was going to float like this. Uh, it doesn't seem to do that, but still that would be a pretty competent distress beacon if you had to throw that into the water. So that's another clear advantage to clear Tic Tac survival kits that you can't do with an Altoids. This looks kind of cool. This is the light turned on low mode uh, in a darkened room. Of course it gets much brighter. So in a recent video I showed how you can fit a free battery tester into a Swiss Army knife or wallet, anything that you want that's small and flat. But it won't test 3 volt batteries, it only tests 1.5 volt batteries, and these are 3 volt batteries. But I discovered a way you can test these, which is pretty cool. I've seen other people describe how lithium batteries will puff out slightly. Two of these batteries are bad and one is good, and you can tell by the fact that the puffed out ones will spin. Check this out. See how that spins? So does this one. However, this one will not spin, and that's because it's still a good battery.